This is a video about an obsolete tool. It's an ice pick made long after the extinction of ice picks. Jimmy DiResta made it. He's into historical and nostalgic forms of craft. DiResta gave the ice pick to YouTuber Wooden Creations, who gave it to William Lutz, who gave it to Tim Sway, who gave it to Ian Robinson, who gave it to me. We're all YouTubers, and when I'm done with it, I'll pass it along to someone else. Post in the comments if you're a creator and interested. A lot of dudes have had the ice pick so far. I think it's time for a woman to have it next. This is an ice pick, this is an ice axe, and this is a pickaxe. Ice picks were popular when ice came in large blocks. If you wanted some small, usable ice, you'd pick at a large block with an ice pick, making smaller pieces. With delivery and production of smaller pieces of ice, ice picks became largely obsolete. Now to get ice, I just do this. Henry David Thoreau wrote about how a good amount of Walden Pond, just east of Boston, was carted away block by block in the cold of winter. Alls and scratch alls look like ice picks, but they're different tools with different uses. So don't get confused, this is an ice pick. The ice pick has some unfortunate history. One part of that involves murder. After getting kicked out of Russia by Stalin in 1928, Leon Trotsky is reported by many historians to have been killed with an ice pick in Mexico in 1940. But this is a photo of the actual murder weapon. It was an ice axe, not an ice pick. One implication of this is that the band Trotsky's Ice Pick should have been called Trotsky's Ice Axe. But there is blood on the ice pick. In the 1930s and 40s, a murder syndicate in Brooklyn did kill several people with ice picks. In one of these slangs, it took 32 stabs to do the job. Ice picks are sharp and dangerous, but they are inefficient murder weapons. They're better for chipping at ice. The most recent ice pick stabbing reported in the media happened in 2012. The other unfortunate history of the ice pick has to do with American lobotomy. My friend Janelle wrote a book about it. Lobotomies involve separating the two lobes of the brain, and Walter Freeman performed transorbital lobotomies by slipping an ice pick in around the eyeball. He was reported to carry ice picks with him when he traveled, performing ice pick operations on the road. He even performed two lobotomies at once using both hands and two ice picks. So tools have histories and the history of the ice pick is not just about falling out of use. It's been nice having this ice pick for a while. I've used it in a few projects, and now I'll send it along to the next YouTuber. Maybe someday it'll find its way back to DeResta. So what's this ice pick really all about? Ultimately, it's not really a very useful tool, and it's not meant to jar free the complicated history of the ice pick. It's really about a community of people making videos about making things, and members of that community rallying around Jimmy DeResta, the A-list fabrication YouTuber. We're a fabrication community galvanized around Jimmy DeResta, treating his ice pick like a relic. This ice pick project is about passing it on, so I'm mailing it off to the next person. <laughs>